is Becky Wofford. I am a senior. I'm studying mechanical engineering and mathematics and I'm minoring in sustainability studies. But the atmosphere that I really noticed and felt on campus was just a very like familial atmosphere. Everybody seemed to know each other and really care about each other. You might barely know somebody, but if they see that you're struggling with something, they'll still come up and help you. Brother Tom is a great example. Every time you see Brother Tom, he is just the happiest guy ever. He's just always smiling and he will take a minute to stop and talk about you. Even though he's incredibly busy doing all kinds of biology and campus ministry stuff, he'll still take the time to sit there and talk about you. I guess I've always enjoyed like taking things apart and putting them back together and seeing how they work. And with engineering, you get a more scientific explanation of why things work and how things work. I was actually at a convention in Rhode Island a couple weeks ago and the doors to the convention hall opened in a different way than what I had seen before. So I was sitting there like opening and closing the door just to look at how it worked. An engineering program really trains you on how to problem solve. Um, from your freshman level physics classes, they say, so to solve the homework that we've got, you've got to state the problem, state what you're given, state what you need to find, state the equations that you're going to use, draw a picture, and only after you've done all that can you actually solve the problem. And after you solve it, you still have to state whether your answer makes sense or not. And that's just the kind of mindset and training that you get all throughout your engineering career. On campus, I'm also involved in um, Tau Beta Pi, which is the Engineering Honor Society. I'm in Alpha Chi, which is the like school-wide honor society. I am very lucky to have been named a Lasallian Fellow for this school year. We're working on getting a project together for that. I'm involved in Lasallian Collegians, which is a group that tries to make aware the entire student body and faculty and everybody about what it means to be Lasallian and to really kind of increase the excitement about being a Lasallian. This past summer, we actually were able to host students from the LaSallian universities here. And we did some service projects and we hung out with one another and then we talked about both what we were doing at the different schools to kind of share ideas, but also how we wanted to take what we learned to improve our own universities. I had no idea what LaSallian meant until I came to college. If it's okay for me to say, I do want to say that St. John Baptiste de LaSalle is my homeboy. Um, I'm just really inspired and impressed by what he did. He ended up giving up all of his money and his like family's money and his reputation maybe even to provide an education to everybody because he felt that only through education could he bring people to God. Um, so that's why he started teaching the poor rough kids in France. And from there it spread all over the world and just the sacrifice that he put in and that the brothers still put in to provide an education I think is just incredible and very impactful. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. My current plan is to work for a year or two and then I want to go back to grad school and get a PhD in mechanical engineering and teaching at a school like CBU I think is my dream job. All the professors at CBU are here because they really want to teach and they really care about the students and the people and that's been very inspiring to me. That's why I would love to come back and teach at at CBU or at least an institution like CBU where you get to know your students um, and where you can just really interact with them and inspire them. I guess to me the idea of home is somewhere that maybe brings you peace, somewhere that you feel comfortable and free to like express yourself when you feel surrounded by like love and people that care about you and I can't think of anything that I just said that doesn't include CBU. <laughs> and I hope that even after I graduate, I'll still be able to come back and, you know, see what's going on on campus and help out if I can. Um, I hope that in a couple of years I'm like financially well off enough to be able to help. But I know that CBU has definitely become my home. And I guess I talked about it enough that my little brother is a freshman this year too. So I hope that um, he finds CBU as much of a home as I have. But I think that just with the family atmosphere that we have, you can't get much more home-like than that.